You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Johnson. Oh, from the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Louie. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Louie news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, Louie. Come on, Max. There it is. It's nice and hot now. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us, everybody, for another Louie After Buzz Season 1, Episode 7, called Double Date Mom. I'm joined in the studio here by Taylor Orsi, Gian Molina, Steve Bottomley, Shannon Joy Rogers, and in Hi. the booth is Big Ben. Okay. How, how many of you had your brother ask for a threesome? <laughs> Taylor, you live with your brother right now. How often does that happen? Well, it is a party house. It is. Nice. Ooh. It's nice. set up to be a party house, and uh -huh. the architecture and the layout mm -hmm. just really commands that kind and of... And do you ever have a say in who he brings over? I'm... I'm no, I don't. No? It's no. just that... Okay, I so haven't just been that. bumped up. I'm the youngest of four, so... so that, well, there you go. Whatever so comes happens. to me, <laughs> hand me down. So, do you know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. Gian, your family, anybody ever... Uh, um, Not my... <laughs> I don't have a brother, but I've had other friends' brothers ask me to do threesomes. Right. Uh, moving on to Steve. <laughs> I'm going to go with no. Uh, never came up in any sense of the word. And um, Okay. Thanks for making me feel weird, Steve. Yeah. You've and got me. it. And me. Like, weird. everybody made me feel weird. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm <laughs> here. Shannon? Just doing my please? job. Nope. Nope? That, nothing? <laughs> mm -mm. Wow. Done. I'm one of I'm seven. more traditional. It never, never occurred. <laughs> never, never had. Well, yeah, but, There's still know, time. There is. Who knows? My mother, on the other hand, did, did not turn lesbo. <laughs> So I don't have that in common That's with Louis so either. Funny. So did, let's did talk. Did we about have a conversation about between the parents mother? which one did, did you figure would turn gay at some point? I, I remember. I, the conversation. I never had that conversation. Oh, okay, because no, I, I always figure that, it would never. be my mom if one of them decided to go jump the fence. I figure it would probably be my mom, and I, there's no way she's seeing this, so I think I'm safe. We <laughs> yeah, we had a conversation one time about my grandmother because uh, during Christmas we got. Uh, are, are we allowed to say expletives? Um, yeah, just Expletive, sure. Yeah, just within it. within yeah. taste, within context. Well, just do we'll it, see. Just say it. Well, there was a because because <laughs> there was one time when just at Christmas randomly there was a conversation that broke out about oral sex and she was just like, I just don't understand. It's where the balls are and that's where hair is and just bleh. and she just started to kind of like retch and then it was like Santa. <laughs> this, this is your mom, your grandma. Wow. Yes, yeah, my grandma. Your grandma. I don't like a penis. Wow. My, my grandma is wonderful. I love her very uh -huh. much. I love um, her too. That's that's an she interesting not holiday. Just not a sex. fan of, of Palacio. Yeah. I guess, yeah. So. Okay. Well, I guess not. Off to a great start. <laughs> <laughs> great topic. <laughs> Real quick, I loved I loved the opening on this one. Usually it's a oh, uh, stand-up bit, usually, yeah. and this was nice and quick. Just it, And it answers the question, said, what kind of therapist would Louis have? Yeah, exactly. Right? Right. This guy, the guy that has no clue about what he's <laughs> yeah. talking about. And he's always confused like yeah. with what Louis is saying. Well, he took so. everything very literally. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And it was just such a great thing. He didn't have to like set anything up. It was just... Was Even his therapist sucks. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Played by David Patrick Kelly, who's in a ton of stuff, and, oh. and I really like yeah. him. So, <laughs> and then we go right into it, and then his brother... Yeah, and him are working out, which is nice. Nice yeah. pace. And you yeah. thought it was a green screen, right? It yeah. so looked like, so a, looked green like a green screen. screen. I don't know. Who knows? I mean, could it, you know, for all I, know, I mean, no, he I, walked I, out I of the frame so. right there. So <laughs> I know, but, was, but ever since yeah. you said that, I was like half in the scene and half like, going, is that green screen? It kind of <laughs> looked like it. It was like that? everything was way edges. too still. Of I'm, all the things they could green screen, why would they green screen a, a gym? They didn't though. He walked out of frame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was a really good green screen. You see how he walked back into it. It was. Yeah, yeah. There was X, Y, and Z. You didn't. I'm t I'm just terrible at at special effects and green screen uh -huh. stuff. Like I thought that Gollum was was real. <laughs> I mean, right. not really, but in my head, he's a real person. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. I he's got a great suspension of disbelief. That's great. <laughs> that's great. Okay, but seriously, how, how is 
how often has anything close to that ever happened to your brother no, and, or your and, sister you know, asking you something really no, I weird? I can't. I can't think of a conversation that comes close. And again, I'm one of six. And yeah. Right. And he just said it so like yeah. it wasn't a big deal. They were just right. like don't get jaggedy on me. They were just yeah, working right. out. It was like, come on, a, man. You know, it's fine. Yeah, but that for a guy, great. it's just one more little thing you have to check off if yeah. you want to get laid. And this is, yeah. well, sh- you know, it's the only way she can do it. I mean, it seems yeah. sensible in his mind. Well, yeah, he's I, tried everything. I've had cousins that, like, have explained, like, oh, I've been making out with this girl. And they're, like, kind of going into things that he, they've been doing mm-hmm. with other girls. But, like, never into a segue like that. Mm-hmm. Of, like, I got something. I got to ask you something. You got to do me a solid because I really want to have sex with her. And we need you. <laughs> she knows you. She thinks you're charming. Have sex with the both of us. <laughs> I love it. Like goes. You're asking. You, you want to have a threesome with your brother? Not uh, me. No, <laughs> she, she does. does. She does. <laughs> and again, the great writing of just how the the brother communicates the same way that Louis does. He's right. trying to make a point, gets it wrong, and and he has to go into this. You know, you just don't understand yeah. before Louis. Can, what do you want? You know, it's just <laughs> again, it's a great way to yeah have those two. Days. Robert Kelly is Robbie. Robert Kelly. Robert mm-hmm. Kelly. Robert Kelly. Yeah. Did not know that. I from the last one, I was like really trying to figure out his name. And I, he's, he's actually he's very good. He's just, yeah. He's La- great. Um, he's later great. in the later in the episode, man, he he went for it. Oh, he, he, he got wrong. that. Go to the time. Go ahead. Since we're, t- since we're talking about that, keep let's keep talking about that. I liked it when it, before they got to that scene where they're mm-hmm. in the bar. I liked it when they were in the alley. Just in talking. the alley. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he was so like, how can they're Lesbonian? My mom's a Lesbonian. Lesbonian. And now he needs to get checked for the gay gene. You know, is a Lesbonian? What? I, 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 is that some sort of ice hockey rink thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only yeah. a woman drives it. And I, and, and I love the juxtaposition between the two of them of yeah. just Louis doesn't want to see his mom have anything to do with his mom. Yeah. Mom shows up, surprise him. He call the, uh, Robbie calls his mother every, every day. single day, <laughs> and yet like he it's doesn't no affection back. No yeah. affection, nothing. nothing. And he's, a, he's upset that that uh, Robbie's upset that. Mom told Louie before he but in, right. but in the same breath, he's like, oh, God, that's disgusting. Yeah, I, I can't handle it. Why didn't she tell me? Yeah, yeah. I, have to, I have to go to a doctor to get checked out. Yeah, yeah. I got the gay gene. Oh, She's so she disconnected yeah. from, uh, like, emotionally disconnected. from. Oh, like, uh, she shakes the grandkids' hands. Yeah. It's like, hello. And, and, then, and then there was a nice callback when she's saying hi to Robbie. Yeah. Shakes yeah, his yeah, hands. Yeah. It's like, God. oh, that's, that's so odd. <laughs> what the hell? It is just painful. no wonder why Louis just is so painful. freaked out. Yeah, exactly. Every time they're all together, it's like, oh, this explains so much. Yeah, <laughs> it really is nice to have some. I'm sorry, did I interrupt someone? No, no, oh. go ahead. Oh. I, I just think it's it was great to have an episode that centered around admitting that you have no love for the yeah. woman that <laughs> that's birthed speech. you. You're not that's projecting, are you, Taylor? <laughs> no. I, I love my mom. I do absolutely. No, that, that speech in in the restaurant. Uh-huh. Oh my god. Like I mean, I'm sure it resonated with many people. Not with yeah. me, but I, I, I mean, absolutely like, I, I know a lot of people. I've been mad at my mom. Mm-hmm. I've been mad at my dad. But like you know, like uh, to say that to say, mm-hmm. I have no love for you. Mm-hmm. Like you're coming in here, you're just parading your newfound mm-hmm. view. You don't care what I think. You're just imposing that on me. I don't love you. And then she starts crying, and then. On top of that, like, because now everybody's watching you. Yeah. Like, no, this is bullshit. She's <laughs> not. This you is should know real that. emotion. Don't buy you into know this. That. Yeah, you should know this. She's bullshitting everybody well, right now. I mean, the funny thing is that her her reality was true. She she had like, to the best of her knowledge, she is a lesbian. Right. Mm-hmm. She has a, a committed relationship with someone she yeah. has she's in love with. She did come all the way out there to surprise him. Yeah. I mean, those things are true, but it's just that she's such a, a despicable human being <laughs> that it completely invalidates every single truth that she came to share. Right. And the and the pub and the and the food court people don't know that. No, so no. Louis is speaking to the fraud that she is, <laughs> and all they hear is like it's some Your asshole is yeah. Yeah. dating his mom. Exactly. <laughs> she's some... exploring herself as a woman, and you are an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Really? You want to go so far as to call her despicable? Let's talk about that. Really? <laughs> I thought she was warm and friendly. <laughs> I thought she had such great qualities. I don't know. I thought the great, the she best line they gave cry. to the kid 
why do you love her? Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I, I don't know. And and as they're leaving, you can still hear her down the hall. I yeah, just, I need to lay down. It was funny because <laughs> the, the volume didn't change, so it almost seemed like it was it was in his, was head. In his head. I yeah. like that because you could really see that it, he was he was still yeah. psychologically right. being affected yeah. by uh, her. Now, even in the next few scenes when she wasn't there, yeah. <laughs> he's still being affected. I like when he went back to when the after uh, brother had asked him for that special uh, favor. Favor. Uh, and we go back to the uh, stand-up when he's talking about values. Oh my and now you just pass them on to your child. That's <laughs> so yeah. great. That he has no guidance. Yeah. No. And, well, and, and his, his, his mother, view so on what, murder. Yeah. 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 <laughs> if you can get away with it, I it's okay. didn't do anything bad. It's fine. You didn't do anything bad. <laughs> no problem. You Does anybody here have any secret values? Deep Se- down? Secret Meaning, values? <laughs> like is the Louis question, is? have you murdered someone? No, a Maybe. secret value. Secret value. Um... I don't know. I think I'm that I don't understand secret value like. Well, remember how yeah. Louis talking about yeah, deep down, a- I believe that I, you can get oh, away with oh, murder. Oh, I see. Yeah. Like if anybody here had a secret value, like I, I truly, genuinely believe that on a playful level that like beer is a food. Well, there's a food. Yeah. Yeah. it has B uh, vitamins in it. I, so okay. it's I agree with you 100. percent no questions asked. Yeah, I yeah. think beer is a food. People say, "Are you eating? Are you eating healthy?" It's like, "Yes, absolutely. I'm having <laughs> a beer. A that's, beer. That's, that's, I'm, I'm that's not called a beer. That's called a denial. That's what <laughs> that is." But I don't. I don't know if this is a a philosophy or anything. I just hate pedestrians. <laughs> so, Pedest- I, I think I think pedestrians. When you're behind so you, the wheel. When I'm behind the wheel, a pedestrian or a bike is fair game. Oh yeah, you yelled they, it. You yelled at a pedestrian I on the did, way here. I did. <laughs> wow. I did. I don't like them. They make things so complicated to drive, and bikes especially when they're in the bu- like they're not in the bike lane. They're in front of a car, <laughs> and going slow, causing traffic. Gian, I you're hate driving gay. in the bike path. I'm not. In, no, there is no bike path. And evidently and on the, on side the sidewalk. sidewalk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you stay in the lane designed for a car, it's It'd a lot right. easier. Yeah. It's. Not the point. <laughs> I don't like pedestrians. Okay. I just don't like okay. them. Yeah. I don't like I don't like vegans. Or I think that most vegans, I think, have control issues. There, that's a value that I have. Okay, most vegan. Okay, okay, I guess. All right, whatever. You know, you're, <laughs> you know, you're a pedestrian at some point. Well, I, I try not, not to be. Yeah. <laughs> I try not to be. Exactly. Uh, I just think everybody should get one freebie in life. If you do something like that, you just go, no, like that's mur- my freebie. And you just say, you it's like, you can't do anything. <laughs> like, so like, only murder? One? like murder people? Whatever. Or? Whatever. You just get <laughs> one freebie. <laughs> whatever. Oh, that was the bomb. So I'm taking my freebie now. Jeez, I inverted. One. I inadvertently created a genocide. This is my, can I take yeah, a freebie? I'm that taking freebie? my freebie. It's a freebie. The freebie? No, freebie. you only get one one person's death as a freebie. The rest, we still. Oh, no, no, so I we're think, getting I think there detailed. should be a freebie jury. So, yeah, exactly. The genocide is not a freebie. <laughs> yeah, I think there saying? could be a, a freebie oh. panel. <laughs> wow, we're going to hold the line on that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, pedestrian right. hater. I can't yeah. have my genocide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two different things. Two different things. Practical, to you. To practical you. and evil. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on how far you drive that car and into how many people. You oh. see it's what usually That's one exactly. person. That really is. Like hobbling and I don't know. They're easier to get. <laughs> they're easier to. I, I don't hate. Well, five pedestrians people. equal one person to you. Is that? What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only the difference scale. between you two is time and equipment. I think so. Mine's a car. You are versus going for the same yeah. thing. Famine and poor people. We just don't have to be poor. Okay. You know what? Then this it is my matter. genocide. I'd appreciate it if you just would take vegans. it over for me, please. Yeah. Only, Only vegans. vegans. So Silver Lake is gone. Then. <laughs> I'll show you my death journal when we're done. Okay. <laughs> we started this up about Louis, right? Yeah, we did. Something like that. <laughs> Someone we got out of the drag. That's okay. Woman. 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 I'm a yeah, woman. Yeah, you were going woman. crazy when she was doing What was that? Why did you find that so <laughs> funny? I just think it's very funny. Like, she was just sharing her process. And I think when people, when it comes to, like, coming out, being gay, or when you're talking about your people's process as a person, right. sometimes I get the giggles because you start using these therapy <laughs> words to talk about it. So she was just one of the, th- especially if you're a woman, she's, uh-huh. she was gendering it. So she was just like, my process as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and then at one point she just, she just goes, <laughs> and she spits yeah. and goes, woman. And I think that over and over. Yeah. she was just, it seemed like she was just putting like a like a feminine power on it that she clearly doesn't have because she's 
frigid and she yeah. can't even like have any love for her granddaughter. So the fact oh that that contrasted with the way that she was saying woman, it was like you have no <laughs> maternal or feminine qualities, really. Just you know, selfish. yeah, you're just a lonely, cold, horrible person. <laughs> And so woman. You didn't find her attractive. <laughs> <laughs> but once again, w- with Louis and you know his hand in the in she's the casting. She's good looking woman. Yeah, oh, see, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, w- yeah, with, with Louis' hand in the casting, she was just a perfect choice. Yeah. Just like the elevator girl. You know, oh, yeah. he just oh, yeah. has this eye of he knows what he wants. Right. And it's it's a good choice. She was great. Well, I thought more than anything, this show really. Uh, Helped reveal why Louis is the way. Yeah, he is. yes, it, does. it stems from somewhere. Yeah, we exactly. see yeah. where it is. All his frustration. As soon as he opens the door, yeah. you just see his face. Oh like, yeah, just like oh my god, <laughs> mom. Yeah. The hell are you doing here? Yeah. It does seem like a lot, and I, I don't think this is a bad thing, but it does seem like a lot of the storylines that deal uh, in Louis have mm. to deal with his relationships with women, though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this episode was unique because even the the cold open was a man. And it had to deal with his brother, but a lot of times it seems like he is dealing with Women's somebody's are. going into labor, mm-hmm. or I'm in love with someone I can't have, and mm-hmm. it's usually a lot of times he's dealing with women's issues. Yeah, well, that's so where he's inept. He can't yeah. communicate with them. He can't. Even, even when he tries really hard, it's just it's just not going to happen. Like even when he can finally Horrid. like like he he gets an understanding or he gets the right words to say, then there's another factor that he wasn't expecting. That always happens with him and any relationship, really. Like even when when I feel like he knows what he wants out of it, yeah. it's just it, something's gonna deter him from accomplishing or getting to understand someone or have them understand him. Yeah. Well, he just ah! wants, he, he wants yeah. <laughs> he wants women get the hell yeah, out of the way. That's pedestrians. All he wants. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's turn our attention to that last scene in the bar when uh, mom comes in with Jasmine. <laughs> I have a theory yeah. that if you on television want to make somebody look like a lesbian, you give them a very intricate neck neck piece. Like okay. she had a hmm. very like large necklace. Jasmine or the mom? Jasmine. Okay. And hmm. I was like, "Oh, she's she reads she skews lesbian now because, because she has she like has a choker neck? type of long. If you're trying to huh. skew sexy lesbian, I could I That's could it? put examples That's what we or would do? Yeah. Well, like I would always bound, say go with the bound hot is a great go example. with the hot chick. Uh-huh. With, but you have to weigh her down with a very elaborate neck piece. I you think that that is I true. Was, I was a bit more like his brother. I didn't but notice the necklace. You did not care. <laughs> no. Yeah. I was looking for it, yeah. but yeah. I didn't see he it. Yeah, he was so that. pissed off. He was just off. staring so they, at yeah. him. Yeah. Bound. They had the necklace. And I'm trying to remember. I think. I think bound. that. Uh, I think that. Um, Gina Gershon. Gina Gershon had a choker. Ah. Uh-huh. I think it's something about. Is that like the international symbol? I, I'm, this is according to Taylor. I'm so gonna I'm gonna go going out on a limb. I'm gonna be a leader okay. and make a choice, Whoa. and I'm gonna say that this Rebel. is true. <laughs> okay, so they're going away from the comfortable shoes. No, right. it's not and the shoes because that that makes it uh, that's a that's a s- sexless move. It makes it less appealing. So you're going to have sexy shoes. Uh-huh, you're gonna right. have you show off your arms. You're okay. gonna have long hair. Or short hair, but you have to make it look really, really good. Right, it right. can't be intimidating looking to a man hair. And the the one thing that gives it away is the power neck piece. And I think that mm. that has to do with some kind of like obscuring cleavage or something going on here. Because also, like strong women in the workplace a lot of times in TV and film, they'll have like their neck covered. So I think it has something to do with that. But it's still jewelry, so it's still sexy. Mm. Making a choice. Making a choice. <laughs> Are you on board with that, Jen? I'm standing behind it. That is so deep. <laughs> that is so How can much. you not? She I can't. Even. There were just so many I'm logical. Still that was such a logical yeah. estimation. Here's yeah. my that argument. Was a, that was a. It, it, I always just think like lesbians are down to earth. Like she's like, hey boys. I yeah. Like, she's like, yeah. I think she was a lesbian down. when she kissed the mom. That's where I got it. <laughs> yeah. Without that seeing her face it. or anything. Yeah. John, that just doesn't. I, tell I so badly right. wanted the lesbian yeah. to walk in and be his girlfriend. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I, I thought they I, were gonna I, go. I, with that. I just oh, really wow. wanted I, that for like a good five six seconds there. I was yeah. like, oh, she's gonna turn around. And I be actually his thought because he just, he didn't say anything for yeah. a while. I thought he was just staring at her because he goes like, I, I thought he was about to say, I can't believe this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he never. Yeah, did, that so. orgy thing at the top kind of just flew away. It wasn't a storyline that they. It was just enough to. But you know, it's just vignettes of of his life. Yeah, that's where it deals with sexuality and his family and i think that's what the whole yeah, thing was they, about so they don't have but to connect. i feel like louis does that a lot sometimes a lot where he'll just kind of initiate something that could yeah. be a plausible <laughs> storyline and it's like 
You have to just yeah. throw it away, yeah, which well, I like. I like that. He brought it up a lot in, in the season that just ended. W- right. with He actually just split the storyline, you know, 15 yeah. each side. But this this is kind of two things that go on a little bit with the through line. That was kind of the first season's uh, setup. And then going back to his stand-up where he goes like, I think gay people should just stop. They're doing <laughs> it wrong. Yeah, they're doing it wrong. Two like, buckets, two empty yeah, buckets. Yes. Like, that's not right. <laughs> no. That's just not right. He gets the so guys lesbians, doing it. Lesbians yeah. aren't good, but gay guys can do it because they have a hold of... Well, it makes more... It, it does physiologically... Gay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just walk up yeah. and you know, just walk up and stop. Just I feel like physiologically anal sex does make more sense for guys because they have a prostate. Like I feel like just in in the last year or two years you've been hearing mainstream jokes about guys and anal pleasure. And I think that that's really progressive and I, I celebrate uh men, whether they're gay or heterosexual, for discovering that about themselves. Have you ever had no you haven't. Have you guys a, a prostate exam? There's nothing sexual about it. Well, of course, because nothing. nothing I swear in a clinical... My doctor uses a yeah. baton. <laughs> a baton. Doc, a baton. one finger, please. Well, when yeah. I'm having sex a in a doctor's office, it's not pleasurable. Yeah. Well, I have a to baton? say, there was, I went to a female doctor who was wearing this necklace. <laughs> oh, really? I just got the hell out. I, I, well, clearly, uh, she couldn't read number. you as yeah. a man. Yeah, I was afraid. <laughs> oh, my God. A baton? I'm still like. But my favorite line on that was that not not morally, just geometrically. Dude, geometrically, <laughs> you're up. Yeah. Then he made the farting noise of. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> we were we were made for efficiency, or what yeah. does he say? Uh, that's how you that's were officially we're, packed. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Originally packed. <laughs> but for that last the last bit he did, this is what I liked about it. And it a, again, he said, "Okay, I'm in the scene, but I'm not going to take the scene. Everybody else gets their moment here." And uh, he let the brother, you know, he, I would have loved to have had that conversation or been in that conversation or just listened to it. I'm sorry. Where he's like going, no, just go for it. Just go for it. And go you're talking about out. we're back in the bar, right? You're right, right, crying. right. I'm sorry. We're at the booth. <laughs> and the brother just and, you know, you, you're kind of like looking for that, you know, wink, nod sort of thing. I, well, he did. He did get it when when uh, there was that moment of levity where Louis yeah. goes to the lesbian and goes, "So you in a yeah, so you in so yeah. Cool. yeah. and it just <laughs> right. snaps right back out. But of the well, brother had to commit, something. man. The brother had oh, to absolutely so just good. go to the pain oh, and go yeah. to the. I just want you to. Th- and the mom on the other side is like, "I don't. You, you're not going. to What you say? You're not going to blackmail me. You're not going to imprison me. You're not going to imprison me. Gonna imprison me. me. Yeah. You're like saying I love you is some sort of imprisonment. That's such a. That's such a mom." Well, that's trap. that. That's a cold, heartless mom trap. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, going, oh, so just say it now. Just say it now. And the, the great thing is, Louis just couldn't care, just couldn't care <laughs> one raised, way or the other. Like, who here doesn't love their mom? <laughs> yeah. Louis raises his hand. It's like me. <laughs> I love the takes at the uh, credits of the mom just yes. bawling. Yes. <laughs> you know she just had to do it for like Dude. half an hour. My favorite just like, one. Yeah. yeah. Playing with her salad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah that yeah. one was my favorite. It's like she made that salad look so lonely and sad. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I hate the salad. And he goes, Dude. 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 I, I like, had to sit back down. He kind of felt bad a little bit. Like, oh, Calls his mom, dude. dude. <laughs> I know. He does that a lot. He did that to his daughter a couple of times. Yeah, yeah, he did? Yeah, yeah, know, yeah, dude. What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the mom telling, "Do you both just get fat? You just <laughs> yeah. get fat and die." Do you just, <laughs> that's what you do. You get fat and die. <laughs> <laughs> he must have had a great time with the. Oh one. god, yeah. Have, but you know, he talks about a little bit on the stand-up about you know, just shut up, mom. Just shut up. Just shut up. I bet there's some kind of catharsis that you go through when you have a show that is loosely based mm-hmm. off of your life and yeah. you might, you know, whether or not, I, I, I don't know, rega- <laughs> <laughs> regardless of whether or not Louis like, has a difficult relationship with his mom or not, if you've ever had conflict mm-hmm. with your mom, if you're writing around it and you're trying to uh, evoke that sense of frustration and, you know, uh, ambivalence that you have with your with your mother and to actually see that play out and to be able to laugh at it is such... Must must be so cathartic, you know. It, it's got to be, it, you know. Right. He's, he's what I thought would have been really interesting if, if if they stuck with Jasmine a little bit longer and Jasmine could Which talk we about. All wish we oh, should. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jasmine could talk about what she sees in the mom and how oh. much she loves her. Yeah. She was just kind of there, like she yeah, didn't get exactly. a chance to. Because yeah. then the brother, the brothers would go. What <laughs> are you talking? Yeah. About? I do wish though what Shannon brought up. I wish it was the brother's girl. Yeah. Like, I, yeah that would have been, been funny. I mean, I guess comedically that would have been like the best, but like I guess this was more focused on the brother and his emotional outbreak. Uh-huh. Which, yeah. I thought it was funny when she mentioned when they were eating uh, 
and she mentioned that I've only had sex twice for you and your brother. And it's so funny because um, I had a friend recently. We were talking. I don't know what we were talking about. But we got off on this rabbit trail, and it's like. I can't imagine my parents having sex. They, they, you know, the only two times I know this had sex is for me and my brother. And that's such a funny thing, like the opposite, you know? <laughs> like, those are the only two times I had sex. Like, oh, good, really? That's that's real? All right, great. <laughs> Don't Has anybody know about walked my parents in on their life. parents having sex? I, I've walked in on her parents having sex. Yeah. My, um, not well, on my own. Everyone's done that. No, clearly yeah. we're all stalkers here, so. <laughs> no, that's never. Well, we, we had. Uh, oh, boy. We had, <laughs> we had a. No, no, no. Please share. We had a shared wall. My parents' oh, no. bedroom and the family room. <laughs> so one side was their headboard. The other <gasps> side was the oh, TV, boy. family wow. TV. Oh, no. So Saturday Night Live, friends are over. <gasps> Everyone's watching the TV or, you know, Don Kirshner's rock concert or whatever. And oh, then pretty man. soon they're hearing it. Wow. And uh, it'd be Banging. like, what's that noise? Oh, uh, my folks having sex. <laughs> just turn the TV anyway, off. Anyway, <laughs> God, guys, the Blues Brothers, right? Yeah, and you were just like, yeah, yeah they're just having sex. Yeah. Let's just and everything, you know, we're yeah. just like, yeah, yeah. Just having, yeah. yeah. And then, like, my sister had a uh, boyfriend who was, like, this older guy, and he's like, really? At that age? Oh, that's awesome. That's great. Does it keep going on? We're like, going, yeah, okay. He's like, well, uh, he's going to go and, like, really congratulate him. Yeah, yeah. Charlie, you're doing great. Good, I have something to look job. forward to in my life. Yeah. <laughs> so Dude, just relax. Did not did not get the fact that if you yeah. had a headboard you, uh, i was gonna tell them yeah. <laughs> it's just like you know <laughs> i gone and told them hey don't forget the prostate uh, that's, a, that's a very important thing <laughs> there yeah. man here's a baton Go it's ahead, a very fun. important thing to be checked <laughs> evidently and we celebrate i'm with you on that. I, I i just i celebrate you guys all everybody here <laughs> and your father and my father um, um i never walked in on my parents but uh i remember thanksgiving oh. uh at when I, when I lived no, when I lived in Echo Park after having uh, dinner with my family, I go to back to my apartment and my roommates are having a party like a Thanksgiving party, and I walk in on three people having sex in my bed. Hmm. Uh, three, three people having sex ah. in my bed. At that point, I would have charged them. Okay. I was so angry. Mm, <laughs> was Twenty like, bucks each an hour. You can stay. Tired. Wow. So did they yeah. still? Did they keep having sex? Were they like, finally, the fourth came? No, no, they, yeah. no. They. One of the guys was like, John. Oh, you. I thought you were at your parents. I was like, that's not. Something you say, like You're supposed to say sorry. Get out of my room. I'm gonna take my freebie. <laughs> <laughs> take my freebie now. Oh god, the freebie. Okay, I'm going oh, upstairs. On Burn those sheets, please. I I won't say uh, who, but I did find a relative's vibrator. Nice. Um, Ooh. prominently displayed. Like, like a glass case or something. No. It, well, and the thing was, was that it was one of these where I don't know. Can I draw it? It was no, because it's discreet. Is this it <laughs> looked <laughs> like it looks like this. a this house. It looked like that. <laughs> zoom in I'll put a brim on it. Yeah. It's a hat. It looked right, but it was pink and it kind of looked like this. And so I could tell this was made to be a discreet vibrator. And this was like an older relative because I just walked in and it says, you know, Jack and Jill on it or something that some, <laughs> something that you could Jack tell that it was Jill. like a sex. It was like a sex toy name or uh, that. Uh, anyway, so I walk in and it's right by their bedroom, uh. a door like a door jam, and. I'm like, I have to tell this person because this woman has people coming over and yeah. they're going to be like, and that's her. So I had to sit down and be like, hey, listen, I, I know that that's a vibrator. And her face changed. And she was like, <laughs> it's a discreet vibrator. And I said, yes, I know. And then she kind of went into this hole about, you don't want me to be a woman? Fine, I'll hide it. I'll just hide it in a drawer. And I was like, I'm trying to help you. So wow. you, I'm trying to save you embarrassment and you're wow. inflicting this really on know, me. On that story, I think we got, got to go to commercial. Yeah, let's go to commercial. <laughs> Find a discreet, I think we're uh, sponsored by discreet ben, vibrators exactly. now, Ben, take we? us away discreetly, would you please? <laughs> Want to find out what the after buzz is about? Janice is a drama queen. This yes. is the divide that is going to carry the series. Give us a call. 424-256-1729. 424-256-1729. Big television, and they want it to be as dramatic as possible. I mean, it's and Shakespearean. I, you never know what goes on behind closed doors. Find out why After Buzz TV is the number one source for after show content. Now, in the eyes of Jimmy... Ducky is a villain. 424 256 1729. 424 256 1729. I mean, who would you guys rather hear that from? Your husband or your best friend? <laughs> the wig! 
When the TV show is over, get your after buzz on. Yeah, and we're back. I, I'm sorry, I'm still processing. <laughs> <laughs> Last the dis- no, the discreet, oh, the discreet the discreet vibrator. Did we get too real? Is it too <laughs> no, real up in I here? I just think it's hysterical. It's a discreet yeah. vibrator. <laughs> she didn't say so. any. Yeah, it was like, no, it's a discreet vibrator. I'm yeah. like, I'm here to tell you. I want an obvious it's not vibrator. that discreet. If I'm figuring it out, it's passing. <laughs> it's really not that discreet. On the way I, to go to the bathroom. I, 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 hey, John, what are you going to do Sunday? Sunday? Why? Thank you for asking, Steve. I'm going to be at the John Lovitz Comedy Club. You know why? Why? Because we'll, <laughs> we will be... Um, uh, we're streaming live the after, after buzz of Breaking Bad Get and out. afterwards. No, we Get will. Out. And we'll have guests there from the show. So everybody's invited to sh- join us at 7 o'clock at the uh, John Lovitz Comedy Club. In City, City Walk. Walk. Uh, look online to get your tickets here at After Buzz as well as John Lovitz Comedy Club. Uh, they'll have all the information there. But uh, certainly show up. Uh, you get to meet for, us. You get absolutely. to meet us. So there'll be a, every host, not every host, but uh, a lot of the hosts. hosts from After Buzz. Yeah, 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 After Buzz yeah. will be there, so you they, can come in. Absolutely. You'll get to, and if, if, if we have enough time, we'll have the audience ask questions of our guests. Um, the, the, but more importantly, cast, what you get to do is see the season finale of an awesome show. Right. Season right. finale. A crazy a season uh, with a bunch of other Breaking Bad people. That you know, everyone's going to be into it. I- I've got no idea what this this finale is going to be about. Be I mean, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Most so. importantly, Whoa. you get to meet the engineers. Oh, oh they're, oh, yes, man. they're extremely how, sexy. How did we oh, not yeah. behind the wires? Off with that. <laughs> I thought that was the voice of God, hey, guys. That's really really the voice is. of God to hey, me. It but, is. but you know, the way you snuck in there was quite discreet. <laughs> you vibrate. You get my reference. <laughs> there you go. All right, so, so that's Sunday, we'll Sunday, Sunday. Hopefully Sunday. everybody else will join us. On, um, but if you're not there on Sunday, where can our fran- fans find you, Taylor? Um, I just, I'm promoing my Twitter. So, at Taylor Orsi, guys. There you O-R-C-I. Go. O-R-C-I. O-R-C-I. Gian, Every know. Tuesday night at iOS, 10 p.m., uh, you can see me perform with my improv team, Bandit. Nice. For And then... Uh, and uh, shirt sales. Oh my God! I sold another one. Oh, you're yeah, at five? Five? five. Nice. nice. Total of five. Excellent. Um, I'm bringing and my. And I have a picture. I will send it to the AfterBuzz people. Maybe they can attach it to uh, to this podcast. Right, uh, mm-hmm. There was someone so we'll who sent me. Yeah, okay. sent me a picture of them wearing the shirt. I was so Get happy. Get out of here. So wait happy. a minute, we're, we're, weren't you going to do something if they sent you a picture? Yeah. And what is it? I'm going to figure it out. Well, what, well, come a on, discreet you got to start <laughs> advertising that. Let we're, us know what you're doing. I, I will. When they figure it out, the next next. Here's one. what I think come you should on. do. Definitely. Everybody that sends you a picture right. of you, them with your T-shirt, they all get together and decide. What, yeah, what, what you what do. do. Oh, I that's like a good, that. So it's that's a good idea. Nice. And like that. And that's they're a in good charge. Idea. And by the way, my sales of the Don't Buy Gian t shirt. Can you really make that? If you really make that, I I'm will. I'm bringing the prototype. What do you do? In. Yeah, you, I, you'll figure that out later, too? <laughs> yeah, we'll figure that out. We'll, yeah. We sell a million of my shirts. And by a million the way, of everybody, yours? yeah, everybody that buys one of mine, they get together and get to decide what you're going to do as well. So yeah. everybody like wins that. all the way yes, around. Please buy it. Uh, Zazzle. <laughs> dot com yeah. slash Gian Molina. It's the Hello Burger t shirt. Okay. It's the best t shirt on the internet. Shannon <laughs> <laughs> and, and Joy Rogers. Where else uh, funny or die dot com backslash or forward slash. I actually don't know. <laughs> Shannon Joy Rogers with the D. R O D G E R S. And you can find me on Sunday night of the John Lovitz Comedy Club where we'll be doing the Breaking Bad. We'll be Fine there. Alley. All right. That's it. Take us out of here, Ben. We're done. Whee! Sexy we done. Ben. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzz TV. Good goal. Yeah. Buzz you later. later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal.